Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam and this is my channel, Adam Sews. And today is my day to come and talk to you about So Frugal 24. So for you, those of you that don't know, So Frugal is a amazing challenge that was created by the some of the most beautiful people in the sewing industry, one of them being Ruan, the Yorkshire Sew Girl, and two being Sam from Frugalissima. So they created this channel originally a couple of years ago, and it was called Frugal Frocks, and it was aimed at making a dress that you could make frugally, basically. So you would make it from fabric from your stash so that you wouldn't have to spend money on buying new fabric, and you could make it from a free pattern that was accessible to anyone um, for free. So that form, the format basically is you can have a pattern that is fr a free download or is self-drafted that is readily available so that anyone can make the same thing if they wanted to. Um, but it's kind of reinvented itself over the years and it's now so frugal, which means that you can make any garment that is a free pattern, self-drafted pattern or readily available for anyone for free. So my take on it this year is a little bit different to normal so normally i try and find five men's patterns or five wardrobe staples or this that and the other and this year i kind of i went through and i feel like as usual men's patterns there's very few and far between i've exhausted most options in trying to in my head try and find some things that are interesting so this year i thought i'd come to you and i would just go through some patterns that i found recently from pattern companies that i don't really think are very well known um pattern companies that a lot of people might not have seen um and the first one being T uh, tiana's closet now i have used one of their patterns before but i didn't realize that there was actually so many free patterns on their website and the one that i found is a men's pattern i shall put up a picture of it up here while i'm talking about it and it's a men's sweatshirt um which is all about color blocking and different textures and different things like that so i was well initially when i saw this i thought oh that'd be really good for color blocking and using up your scraps of french terry or sweatshirt and so have you all those bits that are sort of like not really big enough to do a sleeve but you might be able to get a sleeve out of some other piece of fabric but then you'd be able to use up those bits that aren't big enough to make the panels in the front sections and while i'm thinking about this as well i sort of looked at it and i thought right okay you could go by that sort of thing but then you could also just color block all of your pieces together that are like um in a sense of like how you would do sort of scrap quilting and then you could just cut your front panel from them anyway as a full piece. So it doesn't necessarily have to follow the sort of grid layout of this pattern. Which I have actually done before and got like a, almost inserted a, uh, like a, f uh, a faux yoke in the front and back of a jumper to get a bit more of an extension on the length of the bodice section. So I really like this um, idea because I think you could kind of run with it and create something quite amazing as well. And I love a sweatshirt. I have a million of them in my wardrobe. They are one of the most common things that I make because it's always a little bit too nippy in the UK to be able to just wear a jacket. So sometimes you need something underneath it as well. So that was my first one that I found. The second one that I found is a sundress, which is by Grassa Patterns. Um, and it is this one here. And it was giving me sort of sort of slip dress vibes to the top section of it slightly, but then it's kind of like a really low... Um, a really floaty, really casual, sort of smart casual um, vibe to it. And I thought, you know what, this is just such a simple dress that I think it would just suit pretty much anyone in their wardrobe for the summer months. Um, so it was one that I came across. Again, it's by Grassa Patterns. I have used some of their patterns before. I found their patterns really, really well drafted. Um, and I just thought, you know what, it's a really pretty dress. I think it would be great for anyone really that wants to wear a dress. Um, and I think it would probably be, lend itself to quite a lot of different types of fabrics as well. I think you could probably make it from a cotton poplin, a cotton, um, quilting cotton, uh, viscose. You could probably even make it from like a lightweight jersey and just use like a woven strap or something, I would imagine. Um, so the other one that is also from um, Grassa is uh, Grassa Men's Pattern. And this is, I know it's a bit of a simple pattern, but as I said earlier, the Grassa patterns are drafted really, really well from what I found. Um, the t-shirt I'm actually wearing today is the oversized men's Grassa t-shirt, which is a paid pattern. But they also do a free pattern, which is this one here, which is a turtleneck, round neck t-shirt 
pattern which you so you can either have it as a long sleeved round neck a long sleeved turtleneck a short sleeved round neck a short sleeved turtleneck or a men's vest tank top as well so i think for a free pattern this has got so many possibilities and it is a really good wardrobe staple for anyone that has that either sews for themselves as a man or as a man in their life that they like to sew for and the last one that i've come across because i want to keep this short and sweet because i know there's going to be a million amazing videos this year for so frugal is the made by oranges pattern which i found today it is a blouse called the edith blouse and i was looking through some of their patterns they've got i think they've got about six or seven patterns so if you go and have a look on their website most of them are free they've got a whole section of free patterns i think there's six maybe seven um but the edith blouse spoke to me the most because i know that watching a lot of other vloggers that everyone jumps on the donny shirt bandwagon um and made some amazing creations using that pattern and this is although it's a sleeveless version it gives me donny shirt vibes with the way that the collar and everything else of the garment is constructed and i just think this would be a really really good wardrobe staple again for the summer months um for using up those small cuts of fabric because i believe this probably comes out of a very small amount of fabric similar to how the dolly shirt is cut i know that claire from stitch and so that made the dolly shirt said that she got it out of quite a small amount of fabric so i'm gathering that the edith flowers were made by oranges were probably very similar so those are my five not five four so frugal um patterns that i think that i'm going to work through this year the Edith blouse I think I might download and print this because I think I might see if a friend of mine would like one of these made and I'm definitely going to have a go at making the um ta uh, the Tiana's closet men's sweatshirt which might be my entry this year but we'll watch this space and see what happens so thanks very much for watching I will pop all of the links to all of those um patterns in the description notes below I will catch up with you really soon probably tomorrow for Friday Sews when I get back from the Stitch Festival. Take care and bye for now.